The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is the most powerful space telescope ever made. It can see things that were once too far or too faint for us to observe. Unlike older telescopes, JWST can look deeper into space and further back in time. It helps scientists understand how stars, planets, and galaxies formed billions of years ago. JWST doesn't only study things close to us in space. It also looks at very distant galaxies and planets far beyond our solar system. One of JWST's biggest missions is to study exoplanets. These are planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. Many exoplanets are very different from Earth. Some are rocky, some are huge gas planets, and others are still a mystery. Scientists are especially interested in planets found in the habitable zone. This is the area around a star where it's not too hot and not too cold. In the habitable zone, liquid water might exist, which is very important for life. JWST looks at these planets to see if they have the right conditions to support life. It checks their atmospheres for gases like methane and carbon dioxide. These gases are connected to life on Earth, so finding them elsewhere is a big deal. While these gases don't prove life exists, they give scientists important clues. They raise new questions about whether life could form on other planets. JWST has studied a planet about 120 light years away. It orbits a small, cool star and has carbon-based molecules in its atmosphere. These molecules, like methane and carbon dioxide, are often linked to life on Earth. Even the presence of water vapor is exciting for scientists. It shows that environments that could support life might not be so rare after all. One special planet that JWST is focusing on is called K218b. K218b is about 8.6 times larger than Earth and is known as a sub-Neptune planet. This type of planet is larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. Our solar system doesn't have any planets like it, which makes K218b very interesting. It may have a thick atmosphere and possibly a deep ocean beneath its clouds. That ocean, if it exists, would make K218b one of the best places to search for alien life. JWST detected methane and carbon dioxide on this planet, which are very important gases. These findings help scientists guess what the planet's surface and air might be like. Before JWST, the Hubble Space Telescope had also observed K218b. But JWST gave much clearer and more detailed data. It showed that K218b orbits a red dwarf star and lies in the habitable zone. That means the planet could have temperatures that allow liquid water to exist. Also, there are no other big planets nearby, which makes it easier to study. Some scientists think K218b might be completely covered in water. It may also have a thick hydrogen-rich atmosphere around it. There's even a possible detection of dimethyl sulfide on this planet. On Earth, this gas is only made by life in the oceans. If it's really there, it would be a huge discovery, but more research is needed. Scientists from the University of Cambridge are leading this study. They hope future observations from JWST will confirm if these life-related gases are real. Even if such molecules are found, that doesn't guarantee life exists there. The planet's atmosphere could be too thick or too hot for life to survive. Water may not stay liquid, which is needed for life as we know it. So scientists must study carefully before making big claims. JWST uses a method called transmission spectroscopy to study exoplanets. It watches how light from a star changes when it passes through a planet's atmosphere. This tells us what gases are in the air, just by looking at the light. It's an amazing way to study distant planets without leaving Earth.
JWST is also looking at galaxies that formed very early in the universe. In some galaxies, it has already found water and complex chemicals. One galaxy showed smoke-like particles called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. On Earth, these are found in things like smoke, coal, and oil. Finding them in space means complex chemicals formed earlier than we thought. Some of these galaxies formed just a billion years after the Big Bang. That's earlier than scientists believed key life elements like carbon and oxygen appeared. JWST studied light from one galaxy that started its journey 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. Even at that early time, the galaxy had important elements that support life. This means stars and planets may have formed faster than we thought. Each time JWST observes space, it gives us something new to learn. It reminds us that space is still full of unknowns and wonders. What once seemed impossible to see is now right in front of us. JWST is a symbol of human curiosity and the power of science. It brings us closer to the stars and the secrets they hold. With every discovery, we move one step closer to understanding the universe. JWST is helping us explore the unknown, one discovery at a time. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.